My name's Stephen Edwards. I'm the chef director for Etch Restaurants. My take on food and service is to keep the service really relaxed and informal, but the food still with the same high quality that I've trained at, which is like Michelin five-star level. I would say my cooking style is really simple. My aim is to get the most out of each ingredient that I use. We use numerous cooking techniques which require extreme control and precision. For example, we have a Petworth pork belly dish on the menu that is cooked at 66 degrees for 24 hours. Any deviation in that control can really spoil the dish. Local producers are key to my philosophy here at Etch. And it's really important that the produce I source is ethical and sustainable. My name's Chris, I work for MCV Seafoods. We are all about sustainability and traceability of our products. Our boats are under 10 metres. They're not 110, 120 foot long with 30 tonnes of chain behind the back of the boat. Proper little boats catching targeted species of a sustainable, ethically caught product. Our boats take ice to sea with them. It's important for the temperature of the fish to be brought straight back down to preserve the life of the fish and also the quality. If any heat gets to the product, the protein will start breaking down straight away. When it goes to the customer, it won't be in as pristine condition as it should be. The menu here changes every week. On a Thursday, I ring up my five core suppliers and we essentially write the menu together. So Chris, we've got grey mullet on the menu this week. Yep. What do you suggest over the next coming weeks? Cuttlefish, ideally yep. local. Local turbots, we get them hook and line as well. Local brill, straight off the local beaches within two or three miles. And obviously the grey mullet, yep. wonderful product. The descriptions are small, so some of the dishes might be titled beef.onion, but that leaves the creativity for me and the chef team to come up with that dish which really showcases the produce, where it's come from, and really making it shine. Grey mullet and lettuce is a firm favourite in the restaurant, and it's a dish that can be simplified to serve at home with the family. So what we're going to do is go in behind the gills and cut away, so we're basically going to take the head off the fish. And then along the backbone, we're going to make an incision and then we're going to use the knife to remove the fillet. There we go. We're just going to take the belly off, go underneath the rib cage, and just check for bones. Just stay always near the head. So with the baby gem lettuce, we're just going to take off a couple of the outer leaves and then we're just going to quarter the lettuce straight through the roots. With all the outer leaves, we're just going to chop them down for our macadie lettuce. We're going to get some radishes now, and we're going to put them in a vacuum pack bag. A tiny bit of rapeseed oil and sea salt. What we're going to do next then is uh, vacuum them down so they're nice and compressed, and cook them sous vide at 80 degrees for 20 minutes. What this enables is the radish to be cooking in its own juices and gives a purity of flavour. So the remaining radishes, we're just going to thinly slice down so we've got some raw, fresh radish taste. It gives a little bit of texture to the dish as well. So with our quartered baby gem lettuce, we're just going to lay them on a metal tray. And then instead of the rapeseed oil, we've got a, a pomace oil or an unflavoured oil would be fine. Vegetable is good. Then get a blowtorch to the lettuce. What the blowtorching does to the lettuce is it gives a really nice smoky flavour to it, but without compromising on the texture, we've still got that intact and it gives a nice crunch to the dish. We're going to heat the uh, non-stick pan up to a medium to high heat. And the saucepan for the macadie lettuce, we're going to put it on a low to medium, so we're going to go for number eight. So what we're going to do with the grey mullet fillets is a little bit of pomace oil, and then our chopped lettuce. We're going to wilt it down quite quickly before adding some white wine shallots. And I call this Mackie D lettuce, because essentially it tastes like the lettuce in a big bag. The fish is 95% cooked, uh, and we've done that just on the skin side. Just gonna let that butter melt, and then baste the fish in it before we serve. So now the radishes uh, have been cooked sous vide, I'm just gonna cut the bag open, and we're just gonna quarter the radishes up before we plate up. 